This Daily Brew is brought to you by Ink Playmats, the official playmat vendor for RogueDeckBuilder.com. Order your own custom playmats today by visiting InkPlaymats.com. And be sure to check out our very own Rogue Deck Builder playmats. Hi there, it's Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com here with the final match with the UB uh, Hidden Strings. Uh, we won the die roll, that's always awesome in an aggro deck. This is a keyboard hand just because we have two one drops and one mana. Uh, that can be a very, very tough for a lot of decks right now to actually deal with. Uh, Torment Hero and Arakdos Cackler. Before they can, like, if he's an Esper deck, he could get in here for at least eight damage before they're able to stabilize. And. I'll have time to actually draw onto another land, hopefully. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and throw out a Tormented Hero here and then pass the turn back to him. So we'll see what we're up against. A Temple of Silence, probably going to be, again, Esper or Mono Black or even the Orzhov version. And we do not hit our land drop, but we have that juicy Spiteful Return that if we get another land, we can actually cast. Hopefully it'll be a blue land. We have the Hidden Strings. But... We, we definitely need to hit that land in the following turn. So it's, it looks to me like black, mono black. It's going to be a pack rat. Again, I'm just going to attack in with both of these. He might just be going the pack rat route. Or if he blocks a tormented hero, we know he's not. Nope. So he wants that pack rat to stay. Hidden strings is going to be great. If he has a bile blight, though, I'm, I'm going to get two for one. Doesn't appear so, so again we'll just uh, attack in with both. No, cause he no, yeah, 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 cause he can't make a pack rat token and activate a muta vault, so we should be okay. Yeah, there's the bile blight. Down to a twelve. We'll play this other cackler and unleash it. But now we can actually play a land and activate and. But I mean, we're looking pretty. Pretty good here. See if see if he does that. See if he actually makes a pack rat token. Yeah, that's interesting because if we just draw into another land, we're great. There it is. There's a mutavault. Unfortunately, it's a uh, not a blue source. I can't see him blocking our wow, so he's down to an eight. So yes, definitely. If the if he if we draw a blue source, we just we just win next turn. And he decides not to attack it. Okay, so we're still in great shape though. Not now though. Ugh, but it did make him not use a pack rat token that turn. And it's only a watery grave that really helps us. It's not even. He's going to attack in with one of them and make a pack rat token. No, he still doesn't make a pack rat token. So you have a Destration Demon. Nothing. All right, so another Spiteful Return, which we'll cast. And now I'm sure he's going to make the pack rat tokens. But again, it's just, it's just one land allows us to hidden strings down the blockers. Untap, well, doesn't even do that, but if he leaves one blocker back, it allows us to do that. So I'm going to take at least, at least six here. We basically have one turn to another hero's downfall. Yikes. All right, so what can we do here? Mogus Marauder. Unfortunately, that's going to be game. As neither of these can block and they just take over 10 next turn. We miss, 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 miss land drop. Maybe it's a greedy keep. But this blacklist will bring in the we'll bring in the Mizium skins. I don't believe we bring in the retraction helix or the gift wars ovas. We'll bring in the one of Dark Betrayal. We don't need Lightbeam Zombies or Bile Blights. Again, we could bring in Bile Blights for the pack rats, but I don't think it's necessary. Um, Sirens are fine, Dust Metal Sears is fine, Hidden Strings, Triton Tactics Triton Tactics actually in this one isn't that great. Well, it does save us from Bile Blights. 
but I, I I I don't think that it's necessary. And on the I'm gonna take out a one spring lead drum. I think we actually do need to go down to two of these, and then we we I'll cut out a cackler as well, and we'll submit this. Yes, I'd like to play first. This seems like a decent hand with the pain here. Five lands though, but Immutal Vault is good in this matchup. Really good in this matchup. And we can just we can just watery grave here and pass the turn. And again, if we draw into anything, we should be great. I don't like the five lands, but it's not terrible. I think it's a keepable six. I think this would be a keepable six. Not if I get Thossies though. Oh joy. So Thossies is going to take the pains here. Can't believe he kept in Thossies versus me. I guess he didn't know what I was, but that is a bad, bad thing to do is to keep it in versus, you know, aggressive decks. And wow, I should have played Immuta Vault there and drew another land. That is, that's magic for you, getting mana, mana hose both games. Not going to be much of a match if you just pack rats. Oh, how I am sick of pack rats. It's just to devour flesh, though. So definitely wish I would have the Muta Vault. And a boon is terrible at this point. Give me a Night Veil Spectre. Is that what's going to come out? And we go Mogus Marauder. And attack. But Nightville Specter, he can. Yeah, he can cast anything that he gets off the top here. Hopefully, he just gets a land, but he can actually even use that off the top. So. Oh, jeez. A Dark Betrayal. If he uses it, I will regen my dude. He does not. So here we'll just put out his Ather Necromancer. And, yeah, sure. Got a hero's downfall for it? All right, well, that's out of the way at least. But again, Nightville Spectres just can continue to get card advantage. And even like a Desecration Demon team comes out here, I'm in a terrible, terrible spot. Temple of Deceit, he actually played... No, he did not play land, and he's he's just going to Grey Merchant of Asphodel here. Yeah. So down to 12. Museum Skin is, is horrible at this point. And Gray Merchant number two puts me down to a five. And again, whatever he gets off the top here, he can cast another temple. There's an Agent of the Fates. That's actually really cool, but it's going to be too little too late. As I'm going to be down to a one. And, I mean, Mono Black should be a decent little match for us though I mean I could still draw into like a a siren now he's got the boon though and yeah, another gray merchant anyway okay well we lose this one I'm gonna play one more match because this wasn't very eventful this has been Kevin with roguedeckbuilder.com thanks for watching